Alright, so what I was showing you is Trader Joe's. It's huge. It's a cavernous store. It's in an old uh, bank. It's still too small for this area. We need another one. We're actually getting another one next year. But uh, yeah, it's still too small. Horses. Cool. So, now we're entering. Ooh. I don't know what that was. Um, oh, yeah. That's, this place is called Saudi's. It's kind of the amazing Middle Eastern, everything you could possibly ever want, insanity store of craziness. And like, <laughs> the store is bananas. They've got bulk bins for like everything and all of the snacks and they've got you know of course like halal meat and fresh uh, pitas and it's it's amazing Ooh, it's new oh, yeah so on this side of Port Street it's a little bit I don't know, it's got a little bit more character. It had, it had a lot of character on the other side. But it's got even a little bit more character. You've got... Oh, you can't see that. St. John Curtains and Sailmakers building. Um, you've got a few restaurants that have been here for like ever. Like this place called Tripoli on the corner. It's supposed to be amazing. Lebanese food. I don't know, my husband won't eat Lebanese food, so... Um, you've got cool barber slash children's store, which is kind of nice. Um, and yeah, all these little brownstony areas. I think this is technically the historic district. If it's not technically the historic district, it's like one block off. It's like right there, which you can't see because it's dark, um, are crazy beautiful brownstones with you know tons of trees like old growth trees and yeah it's a, this is a really beautiful area i wish it was daylight <laughs>